Hey, so what is up and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. So today, in this video, we're going to work on Taylor Ray's LS Miata. We're going to paint his KBD kit. Well, I'm going to ruin it and then hopefully fix it because at this point, I'm talking in the future. The next clip is going to be further back. I apologize if it's a little bit all over the place. We're going to start off with Taylor dropping off the kit and then getting into how I prepped the kit, prepared it, painted it, and now hopefully fixed it. Intro, then Taylor's clip. And now, you're watching the police phone call for gunshots, but it's really just a two-step battle of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Man, and look who just showed up. The man himself. What is up, Taylor? What's going on? You want I to was, tell them what we're doing right now? Well, I was in town. I gave away the drift set. I met up with the guy who got it, and that was really cool. And I was like, well, while I'm here, my body kit just showed up the other day. So we've got the Miata body kit. Uh, Adam's going to paint it all up for me. Very excited about that. So this should be an interesting project for him because it's a very flexible, like it literally came in, oh, I already put the box up, but it literally came in a small box because it's like basically ABS, super flexible. Um, and I, this is kind of always a dream of mine to have a kit like this before they became like a thing that you could have, because if you think about it, you can't ever destroy it. So the only problem is since it's super flexible, if it falls off or something, it is going to flex. So the paint has to be up to that standard to be able to flex with the thing. So that's where Adam Right, so we're gonna have to see if I can paint up to the standard of what this needs. But I think with me doing the adhesion, well, scuffing it first of all, then doing the adhesion promoter, and then the flex additive within the paint, and then base coat, clear coat, well, flex additive within the base coat. Yes. And then the clear coat on top of that, I think we should be okay. And worst case scenario, if it's not okay, bring it back, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll figure I mean, something I'm, else I'm out. I'm honestly not even worried about yeah. it, but I think it'll be a fun, Thing for you to do something right. it's a little different you right know? and i it's a challenge I exactly guess. i like that i can kind of learn stuff like the roof dude yeah. i'm so glad that i did the roof because dude it's so sick i get to mess around and learn on your stuff yeah no like, and, I, and then I you're going to be cool it. no matter what yeah because yeah i just don't like i'm just not a super picky person yeah when it comes to like little nitpicky stuff so it's like i don't know it, to, to me it works out like you learn if we redo it whatever if we don't you know what i mean like, it just doesn't matter it's not that big of a deal it's a body kit on a drift car and as much as i'm going to try to keep it nice it's going to get messed up and you know learning experience cool yeah man thanks for stopping right. by awkward later. white guy high five oh Yo, we got it that time yeah, we I, got it that i time. didn't even put it into the last video all right taylor we'll see you later <laughs> see you later so that's the game plan we got to go through the process of painting this kbd kit i'm going to show you all the steps along the way the first thing we got to do is get it washed down so at this point, I'm all done and I'm editing the video, obviously, and I kind of had to make the decision of how I wanted to present you the video. So I wanted to show you my real process and what I actually did and how I messed up and where my mistakes were made. But I also wanted to make sure when you're doing this, you can do these steps the proper way to do it. So in the next clip, I'm going to be washing it down, but I really should have just looked it up on the KBD website, went to the frequently asked questions, read through, gone through the directions that they want me to do, and then I would have had no problem. So this is exactly what I saw on the KBD website. So right here it says, using very light pressure, wipe down the item with an acetone rag. My mistake is I didn't use acetone, I used wax and grease remover. Then it wanted you to use Ajax with bleach powder cleaner and also this maroon something or other. That's just a Scotch-Brite pad. I used a Scotch-Brite pad in the end and then it worked out just fine. Clean the surface of the item. An indicator that everything's good to go is that the water will not beat up. It's just going to roll right off. Then you know you're good. That's what you got to do. And that's where my mistake was. Now even though this time I messed up, it's messed up because of the prep work, not because of the paint. So when I go around to the final time, I'm going to be mixing the paint the same exact way. And I'm also going to do primer on the final one and add the flex additive to everything. I add it to the primer, to the base coat, and to the clear coat because we want to make sure that the paint's going to flex as much as it possibly can with this kit.
now I got everything positioned nice and exactly how I want it. Whenever I'm positioning stuff, I always got to consider that I got to get every edge. So this works nicely because I'm going to be able to get underneath it. Just got a box and some 4x4s. That works good. And then the bumper, just like this, so I can get all the edges, side skirts. That's pretty self-explanatory. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it one more wipe down with a tack cloth. Make sure that I don't have any dust on it or anything like that. And then we'll get mixing. Now, before I get my paint mixed up, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to spray everything with this adhesion promoter. This is just Bulldog adhesion promoter. I don't mind just spraying it with the can because I don't do enough stuff like this. So I just get the can, spray it all over the bumper. You could do up to one to two coats but this is going to make sure the base coat is going to stick to the bumper that much better the bumper or the kit you know what i'm saying a few moments later so now the adhesion promoter's on there and don't let this step scare you it's gonna look bad i mean it's gonna look real gross real funny but this is basically a glue that's going underneath the base coat. So it's not gonna look perfect, but by the time the base coat goes on there, the flake layer, because keep in mind, this is Taylor Ray's car, so we gotta do the same exact flake mixture and then the clear coat on top of that. By the time all that's on there, it'll look just fine. So let's get this paint mixed up. So since this bumper is so flexible, what we wanna do to really help that and try to make sure the paint's not gonna come off is I'm gonna use this universal urethane flex additive. So what I do is I mix this in with my base coat as well as my clear coat. So my base coat uses a two to one mix ratio. That's two parts base coat, one part reducer. And then I'm gonna do a half part of the flex additive. So I'm gonna come over here, two to one, I'll go to number five. And I'll also go to number five for one part. And then for over here, instead of going to number five, since I only wanna do a half part, not a full part, I'll go to number four and a half. So that's two parts, five, one part, five, half part, four and a half. That's how I'm gonna do my mix ratio, two parts, one part, half part. So I ended up going up to number six, number six, and then number five and a half. I figured I needed a little more paint, but it's the same concept, you get the idea. All right, so now we're back in real time. It's the beginning of December. The video's caught up now. And the reason why I stopped filming is because I had planned on the kit being done before Black Friday. And then this happened and it's just a catastrophe. So I didn't have time to fix it because I was working on the Del Sol. I had to get that done and out of there. I also had that truck that I had to work on and the 240 I needed to work on. Now I finally have some time, so I'm gonna get it fixed. So. I don't know. I mean, as you saw, I prepped it to what I thought it should have been prepped. I used the soap and the water and I completely washed it down. What I think happened is I just didn't spend enough time making sure it was nice and clean because you see right here, it looks pretty good. And that's where I started cleaning it at first. So I'm all like, you know, with the mindset of get it real nice, get it real clean. But then down here, that's completely fish eye city, messed up reaction and that's just not gonna work. So, like I said, I think I just didn't spend enough time prepping it to make sure it was good. I was kind of in a rush, but ultimately in my mind, I thought it was gonna be just fine. So now, what I have to do is just completely sand it down back to that original plastic or urethane, whatever it's made of. I gotta get rid of all of the paint because that paint's not gonna hold, it's gonna fail. Now what I already did this morning was I worked on one of the side skirts and it turned out all right, so. I just gotta take some time, completely strip all the paint from every single piece, and then I'm gonna do the adhesion promoter, and then I'm gonna prime it, because I don't wanna keep wasting all this product if it's not gonna work, so I don't mind wasting primer 
well, I would rather waste primer than waste anything else. If the primer is on the surface nice, if it doesn't have any fish eyes, or if it doesn't reject it at all, then I know that the paint is going to stick to the primer, and then we should have no issues. So that's what I got to do, get these sanded down, mix up my primer, and lay that down. That took all day. Now the only thing I could do is just come back tomorrow and keep on working. It's kind of a big pain that it's taking this long, but even a bigger pain would be for me to have to tell Taylor that I wasn't able to do his kit or that his kit got messed up. So ultimately what it comes down to is I just got to eat it on this one and make sure that it's right and ready to go for him. And that ready to go-ness, I don't even think that's a word, ready to go-ness, is going to have to be tomorrow. Back at it first thing in the morning. All right, so we're back at it. The plan is now I'm just gonna get the rest of it sanded down, kind of finalized, and then we're gonna go right into primer. Ugh. It's a little bit rainy out, so I wanna make sure that fresh metal doesn't get any water on it because that'll rust it real quickly, so. Now that it's been about four hours since I picked up the camera, we got everything completely sanded down. Now I'm gonna get all the parts set up and then prime them. We're still having issues. So you see right here, all over the bumper, you see all those little pinholes for fish eyes. And this is the same exact stuff when I was doing the Del Sol side skirts. I did my same exact primer and I did the same exact black. It's BMW black base coat. I did the same thing on the side skirts. I did not have any reactions. I was assuming if the primer's on there nice, why would the base coat not lay on there nice? I have no idea. All right, so I'm gonna interrupt the video one last time. This is the last time, I promise. So at this point, this is the second time that I completely sprayed the kit. And then I decided I really needed to do some research. That's when I contacted KBD, looked into what I needed to do, and that's where I found those frequently asked questions and all that stuff. So what I decided to do right here is to sand down everything back to bare plastic again for the second time. I was gonna have to spray the kit for a third time, but this is where I did all the correct procedure that I explained to you the last time I interrupted the video, and that's what worked out. But also, I didn't show you guys any of that because it got to a point where I didn't know if I was gonna even be able to complete the kit. I didn't know if I was gonna have an upload for you guys. I didn't wanna just have to call Taylor and say, look, dude, I, I can't do it. So I stopped filming, I put my nose down, I got to work, and then this was the result in the end. Yeah. <laughs> 
Man, so after painting that many times, we decided at the end, like I said, I just wanted to really put in a long day. I was here from eight in the morning till about nine o'clock at night. At this point, I just needed to get it done. Like I said, I couldn't pick up the camera. I just needed to get it done and knocked out. I was sick of it hanging up over my head. And also, all the work that I put in for the two times, the two times that I filmed, all of that work would have went to waste if I didn't finish. But now that I finished, now that it looks good, everything was worth it in the end because it's all behind us now and they look good. Taylor's gonna be happy, they're gonna be on his car. I was shooting for them to be on the car for the Adam LZ open house, but that's not gonna happen because the open house is literally hours away. So, oh man, these gotta dry overnight and I'm just glad they're done. Man, so in the end, everything turned out. Everything was good to go. I was able to get the kit completely finished. Now it's after the open house. Today's Monday that I'm filming this, that I'm editing this, and probably when you're watching this, is gonna be on a Monday. Later on today, Taylor's gonna pick it up. Maybe I'll film something with him, see what else is going on. And also, I know in my last couple videos I've been talking about, I got a whole bunch of announcements coming up for 2019. This video right now is Kind of long enough, kind of wrapping up, so I might make that a separate video. I might make that my next upload later in the week, so definitely subscribe to be looking out for that. I want to kind of get into what my mindset is, what my plans are, and just what I want to do for 2019. We got to finish 2018, get everything wrapped up, and I got to get over to the shop to start working on the 240, and, and that's about it. So let me know what you think about the kit. It was really a struggle, but I'm done with it now, so... Man, I gotta get to the shop. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff. You know what it is, YouTube. I'm out.